So I'm going for a walk on the Appalachian Trail today, and I thought I'd bring you along. The Appalachian Trail is known by its white trail markers, and it runs the entire length of the east coast of North America, from southern Georgia all the way up to Mount Katahdin in Maine. So I was thinking about identity, and about what people think they need to be happy. I've said to myself over and over that what I need to be happy is to live in the forest. And that feels true to me, but it's certainly not some sort of universal truth. Half the world's population lives in a city and they're not all miserable. The whole question is a kind of exercise in ridiculousness. What do I need to do to be happy? So perhaps a better question then is to ask, what does it mean to be human? What is it that's in my humanity that needs to be expressed so that I can feel like I've lived a life appropriate to a human being? The thing that makes humans unique is this, talking, communication. We communicate like no other species communicates and we need to do it to feel fulfilled. You can look at people's aspirations, they say, oh, I want to be rich, I want to be famous, I want to be powerful, but I think really, deep down, if you, if you really look, what people want is to be understood. What I strive for in this world is to surround myself with people who get me, who understand what I'm about and see me the way that I wish to be seen. There's something almost erotic about being understood, feeling understood. The internet is a funny thing, you know? It used to be thousands of years ago that there was a very, very small group of people, maybe a hundred or two hundred people that you spent the majority of your life with. These were your family, your extended family, your friends. They shared your culture, they shared your lifestyle, they shared your economy, they shared your life. And you could assume that you would be understood by these people because you'd lived every experience you'd lived with them. That is a kind of intimacy, a tribal kind of intimacy that very few people today have access to. We live in a very complicated world full of strangers. I've got friends in other continents showing me pictures on their Facebook feeds, but I rarely know how my neighbor's day went. I'm not saying this is a bad thing or a good thing, it's just is. Today we know more about the world than ever before but it's also so easy to become alienated from it. I think this is why I spend all this time making videos. It's that I want to be understood. I say I want to live in the forest, but in this forest, there's no people. Our society compels us to live in cities, and yet cities too are alienating places where there's all these walls that keep people separated from everybody else. My rambling point is that what intimacy means is changing. What it means to be connected to others or connected to the world is changing. It may not be possible anymore to have a geographically isolated cultural identity. But what is possible is for me to go on a walk with you, wherever you are. I guess for me, what I want in my life is to connect with others, to communicate with them and to share my life with them. And the particular time and place that I was born in means that I have to be doing that through these devices. And that's a kind of scary thing, but it's also kind of an amazing thing. So this is a video, among many videos, where I try to share my life with you, share my thoughts with you, so that we can be connected and we can be understood. So now I'm gonna put a button here says subscribe. So if you want your life and mine to be just a little bit more connected, you can hit that button and then we can talk every once in a while, no matter where you are in the world. Does that sound good? Okay, if it sounds good, tell me what you think about it in the comments. This is a conversation. It's a funny kind of conversation, but it, it's a conversation. So tell me what you think and hit this button and uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.